Testing. Testing. <laughs> Look at all that dust. It's been a while. Um, so, <laughs> wow. First things first. If you're watching this after me being gone all this time, I want to extend a huge panda-sized thank you for sticking with me, or at least catching this in your queue. I disappear without notice or warning, and I'm a piece of shit. Second thing, this video is quite long. I even wrote a script to make sure I cover everything. I'm actually reading it right now because, well, shit, you know, got to go through it. But it's going to go into a lot of detail about my life and the time that I've been gone. So if you care and want to watch and want to know more about me, make sure you're able to dedicate some time as of starting this. It's quite a bit there also might be a picture of me, um, like, half naked and half dead. So, prepare for that. Um, I'll put up a warning sign, because I'm not that sexy. So, watch out for that. That being said, this video is for you guys. My fans, my friends. I can see you my fans, my friends. You know, see you on the, I don't say on the street, but on the league, or whatever. And then you recognize me as crazy because they haven't made a video in so long. So I'm always so surprised when that happens. Um, <laughs> let's see. What was my last video? Draven? Um, that was what? A year ago? Um, whenever that was, my life has been on an amazing and fucked up journey from then up to this point. Like, it's, you're about to know. You don't even know, but you're about to know. So I'll give you things in a sequential order of which I remember them happening, but my memory ain't that great. So um, <laughs> since a year and a half ago, I've been in a year long training program designed to help me land a career in the tech field because I fix computers, nigga. That's, that's what I do. It's called year up, you know, Y E A R up. And these are some of my colleagues and I back then, um, I have a new group of colleagues now, which is kind of funny, but fuck that. All right. So these are my colleagues and I back then and why have I been in a year-long training program for a year and a half? Well, after about a month or two after that Draven video, about five months into my year-long program, I was interning at EA Games through Year Up, and as part of the program, you go through like a training for five months, and then you transition into an internship at a major company. So I was placed at EA Games, and here I am on my badge looking like the motherfucker that ate the dude at EA Games, which... <laughs> well, I kind of look like that now, but not as much. I lost, uh, well, I'll get into that. I lost a lot of weight, but I'll get into that. In any case, it's been about a week. I was, it had been about a week or two into my internship and I got a little bit of a cold. I wasn't sick enough to take time off work, but definitely enough to piss me off. I went to the doctor for a checkup, you know, my yearly whatever. And I think I actually might have set it up because I had been sick for a little bit, like, few weeks and I thought you know maybe I should get this looked at so anyways they told me everything was fine they offered me a flu shot I was I, it was really interesting because uh you know when you're getting over a cold you're not supposed to have a flu shot but I uh <laughs> I'm not a doctor so I said sure because fuck it you know and then <laughs> when he was checking out my lungs and stuff something else was really interesting he said uh he said to lay off the cigarettes and anyone who's heard me rap knows that I don't smoke. Because if I did, I sound more like Exhibit and I'd be famous. Not just famous in the hearts of you guys watching this video. So fast forward a week or two after that checkup. It was about January 31st at this point. I was working on another song. I think it was Fizz. I have like a... I'm an asshole, guys. I got like four maybe five recorded songs i'm just not happy with them and you know i hate myself and all sorts of shit so I, was, I think i was working on fizz at this time um but it was a long time so we'll see i was dragging ass on the songs and i was being sick and battling my internal critic and stacking this ea games internship on top of that is something that makes things a little rough when it comes to pumping out new content so i said fuck it you know i got sick <laughs> I, I, I said fuck it you know I wasn't gonna I didn't want to push myself too hard while I was like sick you know I was tired and 
I don't know. Being sick makes me lazy, I guess. So, you know, I'm here rambling right now. Fuck it. So I'm gonna keep going. So anyways, I got sick. I got sick like a few weeks into this after that checkup. And I didn't just get like the flu or whatever. I got like really, really sick. <laughs> so let me recount the story from how I remember it. Uh, my family has probably has a better perspective, but they're not on this video now. So it was a Friday night. I had a dinner date with my then girlfriend and one of my close friends to get some burritos at a place we had never been before. I remember being really excited to try them. I did get to try them months later. I remember being really excited to try them. Well, and while driving to my friend's house, I told I told her I was like, I was starting to have slight pain in my leg. You know, she kept asking me if I wanted to go to the hospital. She, you know, are you okay? I said, and my stubborn ass kept saying, I'm all right. I want to get some fucking burritos. <laughs> the motherfucker that ate the motherfucker that was interning at EA wanted these motherfucking burritos. And I had my friend drive because I wasn't feeling well once I got to his house, you know. And all the way there, all the way to the fucking uh, taqueria or wherever we were going, I was complaining about how much worse the pain was getting. But I still wanted to get a burrito, and I thought I could tough it out. Well, I was wrong. We got there. My dumbass immediately start, needed to sit down because I couldn't stand anymore. As soon as I sat down, it started shaking violently. Like, I couldn't, could, it was un violently and uncontrollably is what I have written in this script. So, uh, they ordered the food already, but at this point, everyone lost their appetite because, uh, you know, I was fucking, <sighs> I'm an idiot. So... I gave in. I told him to take me to the hospital. I had sweat running down my forehead, and I couldn't really walk. I was limping my ass to the car. It was amazing. It was fucking great. So we got to the hospital, right? And since I'm broke as fuck, I'm at this hospital that doesn't even have enough wheelchairs for all of his patients. But, you know, they did a good job, and I'm very thankful. Uh, <laughs> so I, got, I had to limp my one-legged ass all the way to the emergency room while using my girlfriend for support and crying about all the pain that I'm in. So I get to the desk where they process you. You know, we get to the emergency room, they got a bunch of the nurses over there, and they take your vitals and what have you. So I get there, and I remember, like, <laughs> I'm fucking shaking violently. I can barely talk. I'm fucking crying, tears running down my face. This dude, <laughs> this dude asked me, like, what fucking pain level I was in. And, like, <laughs> That's why I like yell at him like ten nigga <laughs> I'm out of fucking ten So I'm out here with fucking crocodile te tears all over your table and you're asking me what my motherfucking pain level is I'm gonna tell you <laughs> like why would you even ask you know Alright so after that he fucking has to take my blood pressure obviously because he gotta get a you know he's gotta get the vitals as they usually do and then this motherfucker, right? This motherfucker, oh, he couldn't get an accurate reading. So he had the nerve to tell me to stop shaking. Stop shaking. I'm like, nigga, there's nothing I can do in the world to stop me shaking right now. I'm fucking crying over here. Never mind. Let me just move on with the story because otherwise it's never going to be done. I can go on and on about this shit. So I kept telling him I couldn't stop shaking. I found out later it's because my body was going into septic shock. There's some other shit that happened at that, that desk, but I don't want to. This is going to take forever to go through it. I want to. I want you guys to get this full experience. So fast forward a few hours. I'm laying in a bed after I'm processed and everything. Um, I, I threw up from the pain. And just, yeah. So I'm laying in a bed. Doctors don't know what's wrong with me. I had this pain before, like in my leg, and it turned out to be cellulitis. It was cool. Um, so last time, the entire leg was red and swollen. Uh, this time around, I only had pain, but no swelling or redness. So um, what happened was there was no swelling or redness until I had been in a bed for a few hours. And this concerned the doctors because, I mean, the way that it spread, I mean, I guess... It's indicative of a flesh eating virus. So they had a they had a pretty serious talk to me. They're like, um, because the way it spread, you know, the the swelling was not being was not present until a few hours after the pain. So it, we're thinking that it might be uh, 
necrotizing fasciitis or some shit. I don't like gangrene or some. I don't know what it was, but they wanted to uh, operate and, and and test my skin, basically to see if I had this flesh eating virus. And if I did, I'd have to go through skin grafts and like be in pain for months and months. I'd miss work. I wouldn't be. I would barely be able to move because I'd be in so much pain. And I just fucking started crying. I I, I didn't know. Like, <laughs> I I never. First of all, I never been in surgery before. Uh, that was pretty scary for me. I never want to go under the knife, you know. And then number two, I really hate pain. Did I mention I hate pain? I fucking really hate pain. They tell me I'd be in pain for six months, not be able to do anything because I'd be in too much pain to move. Like, I, and, and then I asked them when they wanted to do the surgery to, you know, test it. They said it needed to happen immediately or else you're going to, like, you could die. And fuck, I said in my head, well, just, in my head, I just said, kill me now. And my girlfriend was there with me every step of the way. She was just sitting there. She was a trooper. Um, it was like, 4, 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. at this point, went in at 9 a.m. or in at 8 or 9 p.m. Um, she stayed awake the entire time. I was in and out of sleep. Uh, she was just, she was good. She was great. I don't know how I would have made it through it without her. But I was, like, super scared, and I never get scared. But, <laughs> you know, I, I rarely have emotions in general, but uh, in this moment that I never really had as much fear uh, or dread as I ever had in my life. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of scary. Uh, so when I, I talked it over with her, you know, doctors left, gave us a minute. I talked it over with her and we agreed that the surgery would be right for me. You know, they're just going to, they're just going to test some shit, right? Just going to check it out. See, you know, if this shit's going to kill me or whatever. Right. So an hour later, I was in surgery. Let me take a sip of coffee. An hour later, I was in surgery. Here's what I remember. From January 31st. I remember them rushing me onto the surgery table. I remember them telling me what would happen in the surgery and who they were. I remember them giving me sleeping gas. I don't remember anything between the night of January 31st and February 14th. No, nope. Hold on. When I was in that coma, <laughs> I remember nightmares about spiders and a new Nazi regime taking over my city. Uh, fucking, these were like mech spiders though and they're fucking like it's crazy it's fucking okay <laughs> anyways when i came to i had a tube in my throat a catheter in my penis and fucking bunch of ivs and shit everywhere um so <laughs> warning this is what i looked like when i was on life support uh fat motherfucker no shirt here you go so i look at this i think holy shit <laughs> I, it's kind of a shock to me because, you know, you know, I thought I was going to wake for this shit. I woke up and uh, I didn't even look, I couldn't look at myself, you know. Anyways, I ended up going from 250 pounds to uh, 217 pounds due to, uh, in, in, in two weeks due to the diet of protein shakes or whatever they were feeding me. Uh, liquid diet, I'd say it was because <laughs> I had a tube in my mouth and they had to put a feeding tube in me. So... Anyways, I had to learn how to walk again. It's not like I forgot how to walk. It's more like I thought I could walk, and I got up, and my muscles were like, nigga, you fat. <laughs> like, I couldn't walk anymore. Um, so psychologically, it was pretty strange uh, having to tell my brain that I couldn't walk, and then kind of like do baby steps to get myself back to walking. I can't imagine what, like, people, you know, who have been in this shit for, like... <laughs> been in coma for years like i was in coma for two weeks but they're people in a coma for years like i can't imagine what they have to go through it was, it was crazy like how how you know you think you can do one thing but really you're just you, your body's not ready you physically can't <laughs> so psychologically yeah like i said psychologically was strange um i spent a lot of nights feeling trapped after i woke up um my whole goal was basically to be able to walk again so I could walk the fuck out of the hospital, not like with, you know, unattended or anything, but just like, so I can go home. I wanted to not be there anymore. And I know, like, I wanted to be, get to a point where I could go home, but it wouldn't burden my girlfriend or my family, you know? So, <laughs> um, I cried. I, I cried at this point, feeling trapped. I, I never cry besides the earlier mention of crying but i cried a lot for i cried a lot of tears for not being able to do anything because i wasn't able to do anything like 
uh, have, taking a shit in a bedpan and then having someone wipe it up is like the worst fucking thing ever. It's I feel so shitty. Um, no pun intended. <laughs> wow, that just happened. Okay, my family and girlfriend spent a lot of days watching over me, uh, making sure I was okay after I had woken up. They were, they were there while I was asleep, too. They just wanted to make sure that I was all right, you know, make sure I had everything. And I'm forever grateful for that, you know. I, they, they helped me until I was able to walk and get back on my feet. I was recovering for about three months. I mean, there was a time where fucking my stitches opened up and I, my girlfriend had to change the change the gauze in there and fucking do a bunch of shit till it closed back up. I got this big scar on my leg. It's just, I'm very grateful for the support system that I had during this time because, I mean, there's plenty of people in the world that have to go through this shit alone, and I'm just happy that I didn't have to, and I know that if I was less fortunate, I'd have a, a hell of a time trying to, like, get back to who I was or am or... I don't even know what the fuck, how the fuck to phrase that, but if I didn't have them, then I, w- I would not be, I wouldn't, I don't know how far I would have made it. I might, I don't know. So while this was going on, I didn't know it, but I had lost my internship at EA Games. I mean, I've been out for a long time, you know, I mean, I, 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 I talked to them about a month after I got to the hospital. I was still, I was still walking. Uh, I, I had my walker still, or, I don't know if it was a few weeks or basically I had been out of EA games for a month now because I'd been sick for a month. And then a few weeks after I got out of the hospital, I went to talk to my year, the year up program. And they, they said that, um, uh, EA games had terminated my internship. Uh, you know, they didn't have an intern. So, I mean, why, why do I need to, why do they need to keep me on? Right. I, it's, I understand it's just business. So, um, basically I, uh, I talked to them. They said, you know, <laughs> They, EA had terminated my internship, but we'll hit pause on the program and we can continue, I can continue with the next class or I can do a, a three month internship there. But I had decided that, you know, that would be really short. I'm still recovering. I'm still like getting my ability to walk back. So I told them, you know, we, we, they, they suggested that I would I continue with the next class as well. I'm very glad that I did. I'll, I'll tell you why in a bit. Um, I really didn't like EA, uh, but I, I, so I guess it was a blessing in disguise and I could go into that in more detail later, but I don't, I'm not probably not in this video. That's probably a, like you hit me up on Twitter, whatever. And <laughs> Hey, why didn't you like EA? I'm like tweeting 160 characters at you. Like it sucked, nigga. What? So, um, I had to beat a, I had to meet a bunch of new people in this next class. Um, I had a new group of 36 classmates and faces to learn. Luckily, I'd already made a friend who was a friend of someone in my in the class that I was in, if that makes sense. He was kind enough to introduce me to everyone on the first day back. Um, coincidentally, he's also the person who convinced me to get back into making YouTube videos. Uh, more on that later. So for the past few months, I've been doing my new internship at a company called Pure Storage. And I'm one of the guys who mans the help desk, and I couldn't be more happier if I had fucking chosen this place. This is like the best, like, one of the best work environments I've ever, like, oh my god, this place is great, um, on top of this, I had a girlfriend until recently, so my girlfriend and I, we broke up, the one that I wrote a song for three years ago, you know, the one that spent all this time with me in the hospital throughout this whole story, um, we both decided that breaking up was the best thing for us, and that was a few weeks ago, And I'm very happy that we ended it without a fight and that we ended it maturely because uh, I'm not a fighter. (laughs) So that saga is closed for now. As of today, I'm fully recovered and settled in my internship. And after a long talk about what I wanted to do in the future with my friend Cody, I decided to make YouTube videos again. But this time, I'll try not to burn myself out. Um, I have a terrible habit of burning myself out. And overloading myself with work. I keep making promises for what I want to do with this channel. And how I'm going to keep producing more music. But the fact is, I don't really think I have time to be the same musician that I was uh, before all this shit happened. Um, I can make songs every once in a while. I, I don't think I can maintain that as a, uh, a main source of content. 
I mean, I, I've realized that I can't force myself into making a song. I'll always be unhappy that way. So um, I think my main source of content, if you want to stick with me, I know most of you subscribe for the songs or I don't know whoever watches this. I'm probably going to be like 500 of you watching this shit. So we'll see. But um, I, it'll the main source of my content from now on is probably going to be just me having fun with my friends and gaming. I mean, not just League of Legends, but just what I'm playing at the time. Uh, right now it's World of Warcraft, so I'll probably have a, uh, a lot of that coming up. I have a lot of like fucking 23 hours of footage, more, maybe more, just to edit down and, and put into videos. Uh, but music can't be my main source of content anymore. It's just, it, if I don't have the muse, I, I don't want to put out content. I mean, I can, I can put some like shitty songs out, but in the end, it's just, it's not going to be, it's not going to make me happy. I mean, I, I don't want to be, I want you to follow me on this journey. I mean, I don't, I, I want to, I want you to follow me this journey with uh, my group of friends, which is the aptly named Wolfpack. And I don't want to be just the law raps guy, you know? Um, well, I can't promise, I can't promise it really, that, but I, I also want to make, I want to make it more interactive. Like I'm going to try to do the Twitter thing. It's fucking hard for me. Like I'm a hermit. Um, this is part of the reason I leave without warning and just kind of leave or whatever, but I'm a hermit. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a self, I'm a self, uh, I don't know. Like I could be perfectly fine just being alone all the time, but I need to, uh, I need to reach out to you guys. I mean, I haven't talked to you guys, the fans in a while. So, I mean, I, I have to do it. It's something that I've, I've been wanting to do. I like the interactive part of YouTube. It's just forcing myself to get in that mindset of communicating. And um, if I suck at it, I'm sorry. I'll say that now. I probably will suck at it for the first few w weeks or whatever. I'm putting out videos, but I'll get there. I'm going to try to check it like... When I, when I do Twitter and shit, I'll try to check it once a day, and I don't know if anybody wants to follow me, but I, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think of weird shit to say, too, like, like, booty cheeks, and then, like, you guys, like, retweet it, whatever. I, I don't know, what, what the fuck do you say with 160 characters? Anyways, rambling again. I can't promise I'll be more interactive, but I want to be. That's the goal. That's where, that's, that's headed. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how long I'll be back for... But I'll do my best to put out something, anything, weekly. Uh, be it a song, some gameplays, just me talking shit on webcam like this. Um, if I, I think even after I edit this this webcam video down, it's going to be 20 minutes long, so I'm sorry. Um, I know it's like watching a motherfucking South Park episode. Uh, but the reason I'm coming back, another reason, in addition to my friend Cody talking me down from my high horse, or high horse, from my friend Cody talking me down from my perch, <laughs> away from everything is I miss the feeling I got when making videos oh, I, I, I really want that back so if you made it to the end of this video I want to say thanks again thanks for sticking with me thanks for being a fan thanks for being a friend and most of all thanks for putting up with my bullshit I hope you'll continue to watch my videos even if I make games make content for games in addition to League because that's all I can do just be myself so, thanks guys.